really you? I wish we could have met under different circumstances, but we're here. Let's make the best out of the circumstance. Turn around. Come here, let me let me see, let me take a look at your face. Catch. You're all grown up. You're a man now. Hey man. How you been? Let me look at your face. Man, man, let's talk. We, we, we don't have much time here. You know, I was really happy when Warden Thompson told me you were here and wanted to see me. I mean, it, it was a little bit of sweet to know I was going to see you here. I, I wanted to see you, Martin. From what I understand, you asked to see me, right? I guess you wanted to see, I guess I wanted to see you more than you wanted to see me. The one Thompson told me you've been here for four months. What are you in for? She also tells me you place the block four. It's cool there. Minimum security level and you have access to therapy and classes and books and all the stuff you need to, to better yourself. How they treat you, kid? Look, if I, if I knew you were here all this time, I would have asked to see you much, much, much earlier. You, you understand me. Look, I know you must be angry and upset with me, but not the time for that. Are you angry at me? Just let me know. Look, things happened, and things were behind my control. Martin, you're, you're my son. And I love you. I would never lie to you or hurt you intentionally. Never. I love you, son. I always did. Stand in silence, say something. I'm here for you. Your silence hurts me more than anything. Say something. And if you don't talk to me, I better ask the officers to take me back to my cell. Forget. Despite anything. I love you. I do. What's that? Love. You do? Yeah, yes, yeah, you gotta believe me, baby. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. Forgive me. I know what you might be thinking, but you just can't be angry with me not knowing the facts and what I went through. A man never has control of his life completely, Martin. I mean, how can I say this? It, it, it's a great mendacity, Martin. It, 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 that's what it is. That's what life really is, a great mendacity. Nothing, it's, it's an illusion. Martin, nothing is real. You're so full of it. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? To, to see.
see you here. Since they told me you were here three weeks ago, this whole three weeks, I've been trying to get myself together. Getting ready to see you. gigantic amount of guilt weighing on my shoulders because I was not there to be the father you needed to me to be. I feel terrible. Good. It's good. You feel it. It will never be enough to fix what you did. Even if the guilt you say you feel would squash you like the despicable maggot you are. I didn't know if you were still alive. But I dreamt that if you were, I would have the chance to meet you one day and smash your head with a baseball bat. I always wanted it. And it would never diminish the hate I've been holding on for all these years. I hate. I hate. I hate you. I kill you with my bare hands if I have the chance. Every door has two sides. It's a lie to believe that we're so strong and so self-determined that we can over overcome everything once we put our mind to it. It's a lie. Whoever is preaching that bullshit did not include temptation or weakness. Strength and determination don't fit everyone. Just like fatherhood. Martin, I don't know what you heard. I don't know what you know. But the truth is, of the matter, I, I lost myself. I don't know what you were told. I had many ups and downs that you're not aware of. Nobody is but me and God. Whatever. Whatever, man. You, you have your reason to be angry. You're my son. And I love you. Always did. And I always will. Stop trying. I'm not involved. You fucked it up. Straight up. And you keep trying to mince the fucking words. I hate your guts. I hated you for what you did to me and mom. But you're... You hurt me and mom. And I hate you for that. Would you give me a chance? Please. Give me a chance. A chance for what? want an opportunity to make things right. You're asking me to give you an opportunity. There's, there's no opportunity to be given. You fucked it up really good. There's no return, no coming back. You can't really do shit like that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. If you give me a chance, I'll show you and I'll prove you, I'll prove to you who I really am. All I need is an opportunity to make things right, please. The same opportunity? You didn't give me and mom when I was little? So your mother and I had a love and hate situation going on, son. You're making me feel it's like I'm still lost, but I'm not. Clean. And so. You forgive me. I'll make it up to you. I understand your anger, and I don't blame you. reason it made me remember the day you were born. You were that small little thingy in my hands. So precious. So beautiful. My little jewel. 
He was so minuscule. So, so it's... I used to place you in the center of both my hands together. Precious jewel. Just like a pearl. So fragile. To be project protected by these strong cells. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you! I saw that tiny little jewel. Grow, grow, grow. Week after week. And one night, I think you were three or four years old. No, 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 you were three and a half. You were three and a half. Yeah, that's right. You were three and a half years old. It was the summer of 88. Yeah, July 80, yeah, July 3rd, 88. A friend of mine, he let me borrow the cabin for the weekend. All weekend, just you and your mom and me. Never forget that weekend. We went for the whole weekend in Pennsylvania, you know, trying to avoid the mayhem and the noise that comes with the holiday. What a great time we had there. Just the three of us, just ourselves. No electricity, no TV, no phones, no nothing. Just us, family, you know? I know you don't remember this, but on our second night there, around three in the morning, we were all sleeping. And all of a sudden there was fireworks outside and you woke up screaming and scared with all the noise and the darkness. Your mother jumped out of bed, ran to the next room where you were and I was right behind you. She tried everything to calm you down, but you just kept Wailing well away. I remember her, I remember seeing her start to panic and, and, and then I took you in my arms and started to gently rock you. Brought you to our room. Laid on our bed and placed you on my chest. I could feel your heartbeat. It's my chest. It was beating so fast. Both hearts beating together as one. There we were. Laying down chest to chest. Stop crying. Same thing. Lullabies and went to sleep. It was magical. And then you decided we weren't worthy. You decided it was too much for you. You were not ready for this kind of responsibility. still be a man. Look, Martin, look, fatherhood doesn't fit everyone. But love can be a burden after some time. It, it, it chains. It suffocates. It kills you if you don't know how to handle it. I did it. That's the truth. Men are weak when it comes to temptation. As much as we want to resist and fight, we resist, we fight until there's no more strength to fight. Man, it's nature. You want to understand this someday. But I'm still a weak man. I love you, son. For God's sake, you're my blood. I never wanted anything bad to happen to you. I just lost myself. I had to go and find myself. You can slice and dice as much as you want. You cannot change the fact that you abandoned us. Me. You told me. But I want to hear from Still 
too young to really grasp the nature and complications of men and women relationship. Try me. Tells to be a man. Life is not as easy as it seems, partner. Just give time to time and you will see it. You'll learn it, you'll understand it. I hope your state's gonna be different between your mom and myself. somebody, something to deviate us from our direction. We live in a world full of temptations, full of demons. I, I know control. I can see now how weak, vulnerable, and irresponsible Lights down. <laughs> 